This is an example uh, about thermal expansion. It says you have a square hole, uh, eight centimeter along each side is cut in a sheet of metal. So we have a sheet of metal, uh, okay? And in this uh, sheet of metal, we have a hole, and that hole is a square, okay? So this is the metal, okay? And this is the hole, and the uh, dimensions of this hole, it is a square, uh, so the side, it is eight centimeter by side, if the temperature of the sheet is increased by 50 Kelvin, so delta T is uh, plus 50 Kelvin, has been increased, the area of the hole increases by 0.11 centimeter square, okay? So this is the change in the uh, area of this uh, hole uh, is 0 0.11 centimeter square. It is given to us that it increases. Even if he doesn't tell us, we have seen before in a uh, uh, video, we have shown that uh, the metal or the sheet itself will uh, expand, okay? And also the hole, it will expand outward, okay? Uh, find the coefficient of linear expansion alpha of this metal. So he's asking for uh, alpha equals how much, knowing that the area A0 of the hole was 8 by 8, and this will be uh, 64 uh, centimeter square. This is the initial uh, area of, uh, of the hole. Okay, to answer this question, um, so this is surface uh, expansion upon uh, uh, in, uh, changing uh, the temperature of the object, so we should use delta A equals the original uh, area uh, multiplied by 2 alpha, because this is surface uh, expansion, multiplied by, by delta T, okay? He's asking for this alpha. Why did I choose uh, 2 alpha? Because this is uh, uh, surface expansion. If it is linear expansion, we should use 1 alpha. If it is uh, volume expansion, we should use 3 alpha, okay? And in that case, it will be delta volume, of course. So delta A is given, and we can find that alpha equals uh, delta A divided by A0, okay? And we have 2, and also we have delta, we have delta T. Just plugging uh, the numbers, what do you think here? Should we uh, convert delta E from centimeter square to meter square? You are right, no need, because here I have centimeter square, this is centimeter square, and we are left with one over degree C, which is the correct unit for, uh, for alpha. And this is equal to 0 0.11 centimeter square divided by 2, 64 centimeter square, so centimeter will cancel with the centimeter, and delta T is 50 uh, degree C, or 50 Kelvin, because the change in Kelvin is the same as the change in uh, Celsius. And this is equal to 1.7, uh, 10 to the minus uh, 5 per, uh, per degree C, or per, per Kelvin. It is the same, uh, uh, same uh, change, both on Celsius and on uh, Kelvin scales. Thank you.